Rugby Union now and England head coach Steve Borthwick has made four changes to his starting 15 ahead of their meeting with world champion South Africa at Twickenham this Saturday. Leicester pair Jack Van Portfleet and Freddie Stewart start in place of Ben Spencer and George Furbank. Ollie Slateholm makes his first start on the wing in place of the injured Emmanuel Faye Waboso. And Sam Under Underhill comes in for Tom Curry. Uh, we can hear from Borthwick now. Well, Steve, it's, thanks for your time. Why don't you tell us how are you and how are the team feeling this week? Yeah, excited for the challenge. Um, excited to be back playing at Allianz Stadium again uh, against South Africa. Uh, we know the calibre of the opposition and I think the, the players are really looking forward to the challenge. Four changes um, to the side. I want to ask you a bit about that. I guess some through choice, maybe some through the unavailability of other players. But um, let's start with, with, with the return of Jack Van Portfleet, um, which is really exciting for him and the team. Um, a player that you know very well. Um, so unfortunate to get that injury just before the World Cup. But can you chat to us a bit about his selection? Yes, Jack, Jack was playing incredibly well before the World Cup in 23 and suffered a, a, a bad ankle injury. and. and fought hard to come back from that last season wasn't quite had a few of the niggles that wasn't quite a hundred percent what I see of him or I've seen his last couple of weeks is Jack at the, the 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 fastest I've seen him in terms of moving the ball in terms of the attacking intent he's a he's a fabulous player um, very instinctive and he's certainly something I've seen from a young age favorite of coaching him uh, through the, the, at Leicester Tigers also so I'm looking forward to seeing him go on Saturday Similarly, Freddie Stewart um, mm. was a huge part of this side in the build-up to the World Cup and in France as well. Um, I mean, we know how good he is. He's a world-class fullback, isn't he? But um, getting the start this Saturday. Yeah. Well, I think we've got two world-class fullbacks in Freddie Stewart, George Furbank. I think George has done really well these first couple of weeks. Um, I think Fred, again, he, he's he's handled that disappointment of not being selected. He's handled it. Uh, really exactly how you'd, you'd want a player to do. He's gone and worked really hard, developed his game. I just I think he's even better than he, than, he, than he was previously, and that's immense credit to Fred. Yeah, that can't have been easy. Um, Sam Underhill, mm. again, another world-class player. I guess you are spoiled with, with the depth in that sense. But um, chat to us a bit about his inclusion, because I know you, speaking after the match at the weekend, you're talking a bit about the balance of, of the back row and, what 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 does what does Sam bring this weekend? Yeah, so Sam, uh, we've had a, a number of conversations where he's, he's expressed his disappointment to me about not being selected these first couple of games, having had a big run of games starting in that seven shirt for England and playing really well. Um, I think he is an exceptional player. He defends in a real um, physical manner, which will be required this weekend. And I think what I'm also seeing now is, is having had an injury early in the season, recovering from ankle surgery, I've seen Sam back to his sharpest, his, his fittest, he's in, he's in incredible condition. And again, he's another player that can't wait to get back out there in, in the white shirt on Saturday. And just finally, a word on Ollie, who comes in for Manny, who, as I understand it, is he going through sort of return to play protocols? But a first start for Oli, a first England start. Right? Yeah, he's done really well off the bench, hasn't he? The, the, he adds another dimension. We know he's a, he's a proven try scorer um, and he's got incredible speed. So now it's his first start. He's really worked. He's been with the team a, a time now. I've been on the summer series, been in the squad over these last few weeks. And I think it, it's exciting to have him in the team. Brings that dimension. I think you see the pace we now, this England team now is on this edge, on the edges. You see an England team that's transitioning the way we want to play. There's a lot more ball movement, a lot more attacking opportunities. And we saw a lot of that on Saturday. Um, now, clearly, we, we want to make sure that the opposition don't get the same number of opportunities we gave them last Saturday.